Hello, and welcome to the Larry's Lounge, everybody! Now, you may be asking yourself at this point, where is Uncle Larry? Why is he not here? Well, too bad, it's me. And with that, welcome to Tom Teaches You a Thing. With your host, me, Tom, I'm gonna teach you a thing. Now, what I'm going to be teaching you is how to make Emerald Legacy's essence. Now, it's not exactly like the actual Emerald Legacy essence that Emerald Legacy uses, but it's close enough for the how you say rock and roll. Now, some of you may say, but Tom, you are not cook of family, you are just camera guy. What do you know about cooking? And you would. And you will be right. I am not normal cook of family, but Emerald Legacy's essence is so easy, even guy with fake mustache can do it. And this ain't fake, trust me. Now, here's how you do it. First off is the usual ingredient list that we normally do by introducing the ingredients, like so. First off, we have the salt. Then we have paprika, followed by the garlic powder. And then I knocked over the paprika, the black pepper, followed by, again, the onion powder. Very delicious. Back home, very good. Then we have the oregano, followed by ground thyme. Then I then. Then we got, we don't need the lemon. Followed, last but not least, by the red pepper. Not to be confused with the black pepper, as you can see, the one's in a square, the one is not. And that's all the ingredients, so next up is going to be the measurements that you will need to make Emerald Legacy's essence. So first off, is the two and a half tablespoons of the paprika measured out in the container like the usual. Well, I don't then know if I can deal with this accent, Tom. Come on, Dad, we're so close to the end, just roll it. So anyway, we got the two and a half tablespoons of the paprika followed by two tablespoons again. Everything here is gonna be tablespoons. We have a lot of tablespoons. I don't know why, but we do. So we got the salt, followed by the garlic powder, then black pepper. Not the red pepper, black pepper. For only one tablespoon, whereas both of these were two tablespoons. Two and a half, two, the rest of these are one. Anyway, next for the one tablespoon is the powdered onion, right like that. Followed again by the red pepper, not the black. Remember, the black pepper is in the square container. Square. Then we got the oregano. I'm pretty sure that's just paper, but okay. And then followed, lastly, by the thyme. That doesn't quite fit. But anyway, so now all you gotta do is just take all these fine powders and you dump them into a bowl, preferably clear so you can see what you're doing. I may have made a mistake. Okay, no mistakes are made. No mistakes are ever made here at the lounge. You dump in the salt, then you dump in the garlic, followed by the pepper. It's just gonna look like a bunch of colored sand. Don't take a look at this. Take a look. You want to take a look too? Come on, come take a look. It's a good look. Then throwing the incense. Yes. And then onion powder. More color to the sand. Red pepper. So you're kind of making a red sandwich because the paprika at the bottom is red, and the red pepper is red. But that's not the last thing. You gotta add the garnish of the oregano and then you grind up time you don't want to grind up your clock that's just painful and now that you got this all good now you just gotta whip it up it's a little bit of dust from the time don't get don't don't worry about it so you just mix it, and you mix it. Hey, come closer, get get up close to the mixing. So you want to make sure that you get all of it, all of the mixing, until it looks fine and mixed. 
and there you go. It's uh, not quite, there's a little bit left, but you'll get the image, essentially. You mix up like that, you got yourself some Emerald Legacy Essence. It's a shame it's not dollars, though. That's a pun. And there you go. Now this is a very versatile product, and I will show you some of its uses in a moment. Now, seasoning is very useful for all the culinary techniques, such as this essence. Very good. Like, let's say you go down to the store, and you get yourself some meat. It says grade A on its GPA. You buy it, you take it home, you touch it, take it out of the package, stretch it, then out then. But, it's just gonna be boring if you cook it up and eat it like that. So you use the essence, and with it, you simply dump it onto the meat, and it makes the meat better. It makes it 11 out of 10, instead of just the 10 out of 10. But that's not just where it stops there, folks. You can also use it to spice up the TV channels, like so. And next time you turn on TV, you have good shows instead of crap like usual. You can also use it to spice up your pets. Use it to spice up your social life. But most importantly, the essence goes really well on the beef. Oh, look at that. It looks so tasty already, doesn't it? Look at the tasty beef. It's tasty. It's so tasty. Very tasty. Spicy. Spicy beef. So, there you have it. Now you know how to make the Emerald Legacy essence spice. It's a good. Now let's try it on our Technicolor steak. Very pixels. Okay. Oh, such spice. Very spice. In fact, let's get break with the usual kick back, relax, use feet on a thing. And we'll see you at lounge. It almost doesn't work. Is good though. The one thing though that this spice unfortunately can't do is spice up my love life. Why'd she leave me? Why'd she leave me? Why?